Teaching your Doberman puppy to walk nicely on a leash will rely on tapping into her innate tendency to stay beside you. It is essential that you begin on leash socialization early so that your Doberman puppy will not develop a reactivity to people or other dogs while on a leash. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. There are a few things that you should have in order before you begin leash training your Doberman. Don't skip any of these because the headstrong Doberman can be incredibly stubborn with leash training. Practice basic manners if your dog is in the habit of waiting for you to go through a door before you allow them through, it'll help establish yourself as the one in charge and your dog will develop some basic self-control. 1. Teach your dog the, sit, command. This is a necessary command that we will use during the step-by-step -step leash training guide below. 2. Teach your dog a release command. This is another necessary command that your dog needs to know for this process to work. This is any command that tells your dog that he's done with what you asked of him and he can relax. 3. Have a non-extendable leash and a standard collar. Extendable or retractable leashes won't work since they teach your dog that to have more freedom he only needs to pull harder, pronged or choke collars aren't appropriate when you're first starting, so go with a basic collar. 4. Have dog treats for a reward. This is very important since the leash training will be reward and praise based. This will be your dog's reward. For best results, have a treat that he goes crazy over but isn't given to him at any other time, only while leash training. This will keep it exciting for him. 5. Decide on a reward marker. Every time you want to reward your dog throughout this training, you need a reward marker. You can buy a dog training clicker or you can simply decide on a verbal cue for this like, good boy. This is what you'll do anytime the instructions below say to, praise, your dog. Once you have these things in order, you can move on to the step-by-step -step guide below to start leash training. Doberman Leash Training. As you follow these steps, remember not to graduate to the next step until you believe your dog has a solid understanding of the step you're currently on. This can take a lot of patience for a headstrong alpha dog like a Doberman. Just be prepared, consistent, and patient. Step 1, teach your dog to yield to leash pressure. This is pretty basic and all you need to do is familiarize him with this concept, he doesn't need to master it. You want him to understand that light pressure from the leash means he needs to go that direction. Practice this someplace where there will be little to no distractions. Inside your home or in a fenced yard usually works very well for this. Start with your Doberman at your side, lower the lead until it's parallel to the ground and apply a small amount of pressure to his lead to one side so he moves towards the direction of the pressure. As soon as he does, immediately praise and reward your dog. Step 2, Practice the heel position. The next step is to practice the heel position. Also, do this step in a place where there's little or no distractions. Lead him to your side so his front feet are in line with your feet, this is the heel position. Once in that position, use your reward marker and give a treat. Make sure he notices that you have the treats so he is better able to focus on you. Continue rewarding him as he sits there, one reward and praise every few seconds. After about 10 to 20 seconds, depending on how long your dog is able to do this, give another big praise and reward, then give him the release command. Now allow him to sniff a few things and, be a dog, for a minute. Do not allow him to pull during this time. If he pulls, stop, and back up a few steps. Now repeat these steps, each time increasing the length of time you keep him at your side and the length of time between each reward and praise. Use the treat in your hand as a way to keep his attention. Step 3, Start Walking Short Distances. Now that you have his attention and he is starting to understand that he is rewarded for being in the heel position it's time to walk. With his focus either on you or your hand which has the treat, start walking a few steps with him at your side. Walk 10 to 15 feet, then stop, give the sit command, reward, and praise. Your hand in front of his nose with the treat in it should help keep his focus while also preventing him from walking out in front of you. 
Do not walk unless the dog is at your side and giving you slack on the leash. If he starts to walk in front of you, stop and back up a few steps then tell him to sit again. Give the release command after a short time of doing this and allow him about a minute to sniff around and be a normal dog. Step 4, repeat and correct as necessary. Repeat these steps while applying corrections as necessary along the way. This is where most people give up and fail at leash training. With a headstrong dog like a Doberman, you may have to do this many times until he, gives up control, of the walk. But it's imperative you stick with this and are incredibly consistent. It will slowly get easier with practice, I promise. As you practice, remember that your dog should be in the habit of always sitting when you come to a stop. If he doesn't, give the sit command in a firm voice with a little upward pressure on the lead. Once he sits, praise and reward. Immediately reward him if he turns smoothly while maintaining the heel position next to you, or better yet, he anticipates your turn. Step 5, gradually transition to public places. Just like with any of these steps, don't progress to this step unless he has shown that he has the other steps down. Bring him to a park or other public setting with people within eyesight, but still somewhat in the distance. Continue practicing these concepts while working hard to make sure he maintains his focus on you. If he gets distracted, stop and back up a few steps, then have him sit. As he demonstrates that he can maintain focus even with distractions, start walking closer to people or other distractions that are present. Take it slow with your Doberman puppy until she is able to keep up with you. With that said, it is also essential that as much of the puppy crazy is out of your Doberman as possible before you work with her in leash training. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.